Hey everybody, it is Candace Bird Davis coming to you with a quick video showing you how to operate your holding tank with Total Life Changes. Total Life Changes is excited to announce our new tool for all new members with this new holding tank feature working. You're going to see a lot of information on this screen and I'm not going to read it verbatim for you. But what the holding tank is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to store an unlimited amount of new business partners in a temporary holding tank. What I mean is this, normally when somebody would hit your website, based on your preferred placement, they would fall in that leg one by one, one after another. With the holding tank feature on, now what happens is anybody who hits your website and signs up with you is gonna be placed in this separate room, which we call a holding tank. They will not be taken out of this holding tank until you physically place them in whatever order you want in whatever position you want, whether you want to place it in um, an IBO's power leg or their pay leg. So you have the determination as to what you want to do with this IBO in your organization. Now what happens is this, there are three functionality rules that work with the holding tank. All representatives that have the holding tank feature turned on, when somebody goes into your holding tank and joins you in business and they're placed in this holding tank, you have until Thursday night at midnight to place these people exactly where you want them or corporate is automatically gonna assign them to a left or right position. Secondly, your holding tank feature is only available to people who turn it on through your back office. So if you choose not to use the holding tank, you just do not turn the feature on. I highly recommend it as a network marketing professional because it allows you to leverage and it allows you to be able to help certain people in your organization where they need help. Third functionality rule, total life changes is not responsible for placements that occur automatically because you failed to place them before Thursday night at midnight. So if they're placed because you did not go in and place them yourself and corporate has to physically place them, these people cannot be requested to be moved. So if you're turning your holding tank feature on, please be conscious enough to go into your back office every Thursday night before midnight to make sure that your holding tank people have been placed. Now, here's how the holding tank works. Okay, to activate your holding tank, you're gonna log into your Revolution back office. So you're gonna go to totallifechanges.com, you're gonna click member, and you're gonna show up on this particular page here. Now what happens is, as you see, you're gonna click the My Profile section right underneath your name. And once you do, the page is gonna upload and it's gonna show your profile. So your next step is to click Edit My Profile. Once you click Edit Your Profile, it's gonna look like this where you're gonna have your replicated site, your name, home phone number, email address. If you notice this little box right here, you are going to need to check this box if you want to turn your holding tank on. So put a little check mark in the box. What you're gonna do next is scroll down to the very, very bottom of the page and you're going to click Save. So congratulations, your holding tank is now turned on and ready, ready to hold your new business partners through your Total Life Changes website. Just reiterating, keep in mind that anybody that you do not place by Thursday at midnight Corporate is going to have to automatically place them into your organization based on how your preferred placement is set up. Again, Total Life Changes is not responsible for any reps that have to be physically placed because you, as a business owner, did not place them before Thursday night at midnight. So now that you're ready to capture your new IBOs and place them as desired, here's what you're going to have to do. We're going to show you an example of what you need to do to be able to place any new people that have been placed in your holding tank. So in this scenario, Mr. Joe Sample has two new signups for the week that came through his website. Both of them are going to be placed in the temporary holding tank. So let's just show you exactly how this is done. What you're going to do is once you're logged into your back office, you're going to click on organization. From organization, you're going to click on the graphical downline light. When you do that, it comes up looking exactly like this. So you are Joe Sample. Before, 
it used to just say available. Now it says available, and if you have somebody in your holding tank, you will see it say place from holding tank. If there is nobody in your holding tank, all you are going to see is available. So remember, you just brought two new business partners into business. You want to be able to go place them anywhere in your organization. So what you do is you click place from holding tank. And when you click place from holding tank, it takes you directly into your holding tank. You're going to be able to see your first and second IBO that joined you in business. So now you're going to choose the spot that you wanted to place them in. And it's going to ask you to place selected IBO. So here's an example. I'm going to back up and show you. Let's just say Joe Sample is somebody in your organization and you want to help Joe Sample build his business. Okay, so you want to start doing what a lot of people call or refer to as sponsor placement. You want to first start off by putting somebody in Joe's left leg. So in that left spot, as you can see, we have it circled place from holding tank. When you place from the holding tank, in that left leg that you selected, you can choose if you want your new sign-up number one or your new sign-up number two to go there, or number three, number four, wherever you want. You can pick and choose which IBO you want to go into that spot. So for this scenario purposes, we're gonna say IBO number two. Once you select IBO number two, it's gonna make you confirm that you wanna place that IBO in Joe's left leg. Again, it's gonna ask you to confirm again. Place the new IBO underneath Joe Sample. If that's what you want to do, you click Confirm again. Once you click Confirm again, as you see, now your new sign-up number two shows up in Joe's leg. So remember, you still have another sign-up in your holding tank. You can decide to put it in Joe's right leg, or you can decide to now place this new IBO in the holding tank in your sign-up number two's left leg or right leg. So anywhere that you see a place that says place from holding or available, you are able to put anybody in your holding tank in any of those gray available spots anywhere in your organization. So for this scenario purposes, we're going to say that, hey, we're going to place that person number two in the left leg of our sign up number two. So again, you just click on place from holding tank. And as you see, it's going to ask you to go through the confirmations and everything. But as you see, sign up number one is now placed under sign up number two. So you can actually decide, even though sign up number one signed up first, you can choose to put sign up number two above him in the genealogy. So again, I hope this tool um, works for you. Just want to keep reminding you over and over again, holding tank placements need to be done by Thursday at midnight. Any spillover that occurs from the upline members while your new signups are in the holding tank may end up occupying a spot in your downline that you intended for the reserve spot for your new IBO. So keep in mind, spillover is still going to happen while you have these people in your holding tank. TLC is not responsible for holding tank signup placements that happen automatically because you failed to place them by Thursday. Four, the holding tank option can be turned on or off at any time. If you want to turn it off, you just log back into your profile and uncheck that box. Five, only personal sponsored IBOs can be placed in your holding tank, and their order volumes will not show up in your binary until you physically place them. TLC does reserve the right to end or modify the holding tank at any time. So again, as Total Life Changes continues to strive to offer the best products, best business opportunity, and member tools in our industry. We thank the men and women of our staff and our sales team for helping us achieve these goals and become the number one direct selling company of the health and nutritional products world. So again, we're changing lives daily with Total Life Changes.